Welcome to the Trendy Outdoorsman. In this video, I'm going to talk about cable management. It's not a sexy topic, but it does need managed. Check out my tips and tricks and how I did it. Let's start with the storage. I wanted to get the IKEA Alex uh, cabinet. Unfortunately, every time I went to IKEA, they were sold out. So plan B, I found this on Amazon. It looks identical and it's a little bit smaller, which worked perfect for me in the space that I have. The only modification that I made to it is I have a six USB charger hub that I put in the top drawer. So I took a spade bit, drilled a hole in the, in the top right corner here of the, of the unit and basically just ran one uh, outlet from the wall into the top drawer. That way I can charge all my camera batteries and GoPro batteries or any kind of accessories and keep them charging inside of this drawer, keeping all the cables nice, clean, and organized at the same time. Next, I got this cable concealer kit from Amazon. It's made from PVC and it comes from double-sided tape that's really sticky. This is perfect for mounting all the wires flush underneath of your desk. I started by making measurements on some of the PVC pieces and then I took a hacksaw and just cut them nicely. Then I took the double-sided tape that it came with and uh, applied it to these pieces. And my goal here wasn't necessarily to make this pristine perfect under the desk. It was more so try to eliminate these wires from hanging. And because it's a sit-stand desk, they would be a little bit more pressure because of the moving all the time. So my goal is to get them nice and stuck to the bottom of this desk. So every time I would go up and down, I would never have to worry about these wires falling. Um, it was really convenient because these channels fit nicely in the center area and that double-sided tape is extremely strong. So it's a one and done kind of application and it looks really clean and minimal underneath as well. Next, my goal was to have a surge protector underneath of the desk mounted so I would have just one outlet nice and clean to the wall and everything be ran underneath of this desk into the surge protector. I skipped the part of mounting the monitors. I have a separate video for that below if you'd like to see what I used and how I did it. Then I went through and ran all the wires that would go into the iMac computer, including the external hard drives and the display monitor uh, cord. And I taped them together with white electrical tape just to give it that clean look. And then the monitor arm came with these really nice covers. So it's perfect to cover all the wires together. Nice, clean, minimal, and still fully adjustable. And here it is, the finished product with all the PVC and all the wires ran nice and clean. And I have a total of nine devices plugged into this unit with all the wires ran underneath. Everything is sturdy when the table goes up and down, nothing falls or acts like it's gonna fall. It's very nice and sturdy and will last. I've got uh, USBs on the back of the iMac. Essentially one of them is to create a through USB as well as SD and micro SD on the front of the iMac. The other ones are for my hard drives. I've got a four terabyte and a 14 terabyte hard drives for all my videos. I've also got a mini display port, which is a cable that goes into the 49 super ultra wide LG. All of them go through the Loctec through the arm, as well as going through this part, through this part, down through the bottom and under the table. Um, I've got the cables managed fairly well, I think, under the table, considering I have so many. Let's go kind of under here and look. One outlet, one cord going to this leg. I didn't strap it down right here because the table is a sit stand. So when it goes up, I need that extra slack there. Outside of that slack, it's mounted on that leg there. That leg is not going anywhere and all the way up and ran through these channels that I've created on both sides. So they're kind of everywhere, but it, my whole goal was to try to eliminate wires hanging as much as possible. So I don't really care how they looked as long as they are up to the table as much as possible and will stay there. These channels are very sticky. I don't think they're going anywhere, especially with the table moving up and down. And I ran these LED lights all the way around. You can see all the way around, I believe it's a 15, meter strip that goes all the way around this entire desk and under my drawer that I manually constructed there. I 
the LG Super Ultra Wide monitor. I currently have a HDMI to a to DisplayPort on the iMac and a USB-C that I don't have plugged in right now that will be running to my uh, 2018 MacBook Pro Retina there. And then everything else is run through that channel and everything else that plugs in uh, hard drive wise will all be to this guy on this side the iMac with the external hard drives as well as the card slots and everything so this will maintain kind of the cleanliness of the cable management all in the back of this guy here i don't have to worry about that see the other perk that i really like about it it has uh, a couple of jacks on the front which i'm not going to use but i am going to use the usb i did run the usb from this guy under the desk and all the way around to this guy right here. So you can see the USB plugs into there. There's also a couple other USBs. It's really hard for me to get in here to show you, but there's three USBs that I can just charge my quick gadgets if I need to, or iPhone or something like that. And that's from Ikea, so that taps into that guy. And here is the finished product. Everything, even when it's at its full height, no wires are visible or seen hanging down. They're all secured. Only one cord going into an outlet with white electric tape on it, so it's not an eyesore either. Everything is very clean and there's no wires exposed anywhere. Thanks for watching my cable management video. If you have any questions about any of the products, I have all the links below for everything that I used, as well as all the other videos part of the series for everything that I've created here. If you do have any questions about anything, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, like and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. Thanks.